for the first time ever and for only four days, Singapore Airlines opened its training facilities to residents of Singapore. Inside SIA sold out in one hour. For those who didn't get tickets, don't worry. We'll let you peek into this exclusive behind the scenes tour of SIA. After we checked in, we were given a goodie bag and a passport. Our tour began with a bird's eye view of Singapore Airlines' story through the ages. We then moved to what is arguably the happiest place in the entire training facility, the Wine Appreciation Classroom. For about 40 Singapore dollars, guests could get a taste of SIA's sommelier training before or after their tour. Next door is the etiquette training room, where crew members learn, amongst many other things, the art of movement. Fittingly, this looks like a dance studio. Down the aisle is the makeup training room, where Lancome's makeup artists teach stewardesses how to apply their makeup in a way that complements their facial features as well as the color of their uniform. For less than 100 Singapore dollars, ladies could attend a grooming workshop and unlock the secrets of the Singapore girl look. There are several mock-ups, we counted at least seven, meant to recreate the cabin configuration for every class on every aircraft in the SQ fleet. These mock-ups are amazingly detailed, aiding crew members in their role play of customer service. Crew members have to be as strong as they are graceful. Like ballet dancers, they have to be physically and mentally fit to handle emergencies that they practice for using these evacuation slides and in this wave pool. To practice dealing with various dangers, from turbulence to hazards far too dangerous to practice in an actual plane, pilots use the flight simulators here. For 535 Singapore dollars, you could have flown in a simulator that SQ pilots use for their training. We spotted guests trying their hand on the 777, 737 MAX and 787 simulators. Airbus simulators are located in a different building that is jointly operated by both Airbus and SIA. At the end of our tour, we were presented some of SIA's sustainability initiatives, from their training, to their use of greener materials. We were famished by the time the tour was over and were glad to pick up our meals that came with our tour ticket. If you haven't already, check out our review of SIA's Restaurant A380, another extraordinary event that ASQ created to rise above the crisis of COVID-19. And for those of us who can't get enough of SIA's merchandise, we could shop at the Chris shop They've even had decommissioned bar carts, not usually available for purchase. There were so many things that were unique and memorable about this experience. If you're keen to see and hear more about our experience, check out our in-depth video on Event Food Globe's channel and website. There, we'll elaborate on some of my perspectives as a Singaporean girl who's a Singapore girl wannabe. Thank you for watching. Did you know that we publish over 175 stories every single week on simpleflying.com? Be sure to check the link in the description for more great stories just like this. Thanks for watching, and be sure to like and subscribe before you go.